Hello and welcome to another weekly update. We nearly didn't make it this week um, for various uninteresting reasons, but we're here and I think everything is going to be all right. So let's talk about what's new this week. Uh, a couple of things to share with you. So let's jump right in. Now we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, probably more than that actually, it's just time goes quickly. Um, and that is the SharePoint Framework um, version 1.20. So um, it's now available. It's generally available. I think the last time we spoke about it was in preview. So it's now generally available, which is exciting. Uh, there's a new blog post all about it. Um, and yeah, some key features. Um, I think we talked some of these through when it came into preview. Uh, support for HTML powered quick views. That's going to be huge for developers. Uh, loads more functionality there. Loads more options um, for what they can do on top of you know what was there before with cards cards were always quite restrictive so really really nice to see there's um kind of html power in there now so really you can put whatever you like in there which is really interesting um yeah very excited for that um and then these visualizations are really nice as well um that are in here as well so yeah these kind of new data visualization layout options so that's all very good and very exciting that's coming to you as a developer, make sure you're on the latest version. Make sure uh, that blog post has got stuff in it about, you know, doing the upgrade, um, installing it from first, you know, if you've never done it before, what it is and how to install it and how to get using it. It's all in NPM, so it's relatively straightforward. Um, so, yeah, it's all very good. And uh, it's good to see that team continue to innovate um, in an area that is not necessarily like the focus because it doesn't have Copilot in the name. Um, not to say that you know the, there isn't a place for the SharePoint framework in Copilot. I kind of think there is, um, and I think that's going to be kind of interesting. Um, so one particular interesting part, actually, and uh, it's interesting what you can say and what you can't say in this area, but if I just, on this blog post, uh, there's an image. It's this one, which is interesting and worth talking through, um, which shows you where SPFX experiences fit into Microsoft 365. And you'll notice as well that some of the cards extend down into Copilot. And there's a, a specific question that's been called out here. You know, why is Copilot included in this picture? Um, and the answer to that is that we are working actively on the SharePoint framework powered story with the Copilot with the initial preview already shown in build 2024. You can expect a first public preview for these Copilot related features to be available in the last quarter of 2024. Now, the last quarter starts next week, um, I think. Uh, October, November, December. Yeah, that is the quarter. Yeah, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens there. The share, the, to be fair, the SharePoint framework team are normally pretty good about hitting uh, any milestones that they announce. So uh, I think that probably means they're already working on something. I have said for a little while, um, and I had a really good conversation actually uh, last week with Kevin McDonald about this. Uh, Copilot is great, but it doesn't, shouldn't, or shouldn't necessarily just be all about text. You know, why can't we have richer ways? Um, so, for instance, in our extensions and the plugins, why can't we provide things like adaptive cards and say this is a this is a way of displaying this information um, that is supported by this API? Uh, and I think that would be really cool. Sounds like something similar is happening on the SharePoint framework side of things um, in Copilot. I suppose one easy way would be to take some of the functionality of existing cards that are presented on the dashboard and leveraging that for information. So that if you ask Copilot about something related to that, it could just show the card and that would be really interesting. Um, so maybe bringing some Copilot de declarations into the manifest of your card in SharePoint framework, that would be kind of neat um, if all that tying together on the back end could happen. That would be very exciting. Don't know, we're just gonna have to wait and see on that. Don't have any information about that. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens, but it's gonna happen this year. All right, there's a short but sweet blog post um, from Microsoft for partners around Microsoft 365 and specifically Copilot um, enhancements and why that provides ex expanded opportunities for partners. The entire blog post is on the screen right now. Um, it's kind of a blog post calling out the Wave 2 announcement last week and saying here's why it matters for partners. Um, it's an interesting, like it's a short but sweet blog post. There's not an awful lot of information here that I think if you're if you're a partner, you probably already know this. Uh, really the call to action is to join the Microsoft partner community. Now, maybe there's a whole bunch of partners that don't join the partner community and aren't aware of the Wave 2 announcements and don't know what that means. Um, 
But yeah, I kind of, it's an interesting, fairly short blog post. I'm not quite sure why, um, but it's interesting that Microsoft really want to bring partners along for this journey and um, feel that there are, you know, opportunities there for partners with things like Microsoft 365 Copilot and things like agents and pages as well. So I think there will be people struggling to understand pages and particularly agents because that's a, you know, development extensibility. So if you don't have a development team, um, you know, you need to look to somebody for how you're going to use agents, whether that's things that you buy in or, you know, things that um, you build yourself. Uh, yeah, so yeah, partners are good. Um, and so this is Microsoft saying in a fairly short blog post, partners are good. Okay, uh, moving slightly outside, and I, I kind of want to touch on this briefly because it's something we all get asked about all of the time, even though we're not really specialists in that area. Well, I'm not, certainly not anyway, and that's recall. Um, the thing that came and then was recalled and is now back again, but it's back in a slightly different guise, and it's that's not been kind of super well covered, so I thought it would be worth calling out this article from um, ZDNet, which goes through some of the changes that have happened to Copilot, uh, sorry, to recall. Um, for Copilot Plus PCs since that initial launch. So for instance, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's only going to work on Copilot Plus PCs. It's going to be opt-in only, which um, was a complete 180 from the, the original announcement. Um, yeah, there's a clear option to turn it on. Uh, and if you don't proactively choose to turn it on, it will be turned off. Um, yeah, other things, um, there's some extra privacy settings and control over personal data. I think it will be obvious when it's being used and when it's taking its screenshots. Um, and there's, uh, the architecture has been kind of either changed or made clearer because I think that one of the problems with the original announcement was the architecture wasn't super clear. Microsoft, I think, don't, didn't spend quite as much time saying how it was secure and why it was secure. Um, so I think that's good. <clears throat> and then Microsoft say as well, they've conducted um, some security reviews and internally it's been red team tested. Uh, yeah, so honestly, these are some of the things I think it should have happened. It should have had on the initial announcement. Um, it's a shame that it didn't. Um, uh, hopefully there's some learnings inside Microsoft for that. I think we all saw this coming and uh, the way it, the way it kind of rolled out and then had to be pulled. Um but I think this announcement is much more in line with what we'd expect and I think what would land better in the market, honestly. All right, I think that's everything in terms of news uh, in the sort of Microsoft 365 Copilot space. Um, yeah, go check out the uh, the new SPFX version and look out for that Copilot stuff coming as soon as I see it here. We'll talk about it here. Um, yep, yeah, remember that Copilot is good for partners um, and then go check out Recall if people are asking you questions about that. Just before we go, um, kind of personal news. I talked about this last week. I'm going to talk about it this week. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it every week for the next two two months. We'll see how it goes. Um, it might depend on how much news there is. Um, but that is I'm fundraising um, for our local hospice. I'm doing so by running a half marathon, um, which is not something I've ever done before. I've never run more than about 10K well, until this morning when I ran seven miles, which is now the longest distance I've ever run. Um I have a Just Giving page. I will put a link in the show notes if you could throw some money, uh, not my way, but to the Priscilla Bacon Hospice Charity. That would be fantastic. They do amazing work for people at the end of their lives. And um, any money they receive, I think they'll be very grateful for. I've got a target of £500. That's gone up since the last time we spoke because people have been very generous. Um, I'm currently at 365. The M365 um, is my... Uh, let me show you. Look, the, uh, the Microsoft 365 a friendly total um on the screen but i would like it not to stay at 365 i'd like it to go up to 500 that would be amazing so uh you can help that by going to that page and making a donation that would be fantastic thank you very much all right enough from me speak to you again next week <laughs>